So multiple takes or multiple cuts? What? When the when the stream when the stream goes live, everybody look at the picture. It really looks like Walter White is green screening himself into a family dinner table. Oh, wait a minute! Like you just takes. want the views. What? Oh yeah, he this is just a scheme. You just no want shit. views. Riley, I could be watching you, but Adam plays his live with Far Cry Three. Damn it! How how what did you ever Adam... pass that up? That's what like holy shit! It does look like it. Wait, let me see. <laughs> what do you do? he's the only he's he's the only one who doesn't have the signature breaking bad grain effect <laughs> he's too clear <laughs> his he's bald clear. head makes him shinier wait are yeah. we live we are live yeah. yes here, I have the perfect thing to open us up. <laughs> Hello, and welcome back to the Riley and Ida movie. Hello, everybody. My name is Markiplier. You could tell Ida, like, briefly considered dead naming herself there. She, like, thought about it. She's like, <laughs> I, I did. I, I'm not going to do that. Be my dicky daddy. Give me oh, my God. It does look like Walter White. I, I, green screen. I'm, I'm going into cummy arrest. Please inject your yummy cum medicine into my happy <laughs> little good girl. Christ. Daddy, Who be nimble. Daddy, be quick. Daddy, give me all eight inches of your dick. One cummy, two cummy, three cummy, four. I'm daddy's princess, but I'm also a whore. Wait, why are we not in lock stream call? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I was forgetting <laughs> something. <laughs> What the Go. fuck is here? <laughs> Who is this? Do you want me to read it again for you? <laughs> I want to know what the context is. Don't worry about it. Corey, get out of here. Get, get the fuck out of here, Corey. <laughs> How about we all move to lock stream call? Yeah, move to lock stream call. Oh, bruh. Yo, what up? It's Debbie Gloob. No way! It's Demi Gloom. Yo, Demi Gloom. Yo, 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 Mr. White. <laughs> yo, Mrs. Gloom. Mr. White. Mrs. Who's the lucky uh, Mister? Uh, wait, wait, the Mister to Walter White. <laughs> no, the Mister to uh, it's Gloom. It's Jesse Pinkman. Miss Demi Gloom. Mrs. Yeah. Demi Gloom. Yeah, who's you said, the yeah, you said Mrs. Uh, my girlfriend is gender non-conforming, so she could be, she could be the Mister Mister Gloom. Oh, she's your girlfriend. If you, you know what? <laughs> she's just your, she's, not... she's just your romantic partner. No, she's not non-binary. She's a girl. Hey, have you guys, she's have you guys seen King Kong balls? Having a girl <laughs> can't fringe? say that I have. You don't know the image of the monkey statue with like the big nuts. No, it's Mister Diggity. Have Yo, seen... Mo Diggity, what is up? Yo, Mr. Mr. Diggity. Mr. Diggity. Get closer Welcome to your mic, get closer to your mic. Jesse, you. where is the methy? Uh, Meth Riley, oh. it's time to cook. Riley. We have, to... <laughs> we have to cook, it's true. All right, now it's time I to... am the one that comes. All right, any more, any more memes we want to get out before we start the real show? Welcome back to Minecraft Let's Play. Yeah, welcome to the Minecraft hey, Let's Play. Hey, everybody! Hey, everybody! Hey, hey, everybody. The Demi, stop. Hey, Immediately. Everybody. No more. Hey, everybody. Pancakes, <laughs> play copyrighted music. <laughs> Google, show me this guy's balls. So anyway, wait. Okay, let's do the real intro. All right, here we go. All right, I'll do it. No. <laughs> Yeah. I'll do hey no, everybody and welcome. Shut up. We haven't I still, everybody I, still need I to swear redeem to god. Myself. We are not spending 10 minutes on this. Shut the fuck up. I still need to redeem myself, Riley. People are still angry at me that I gave Breaking Bad a 7 out of 10 on my YouTube channel. Okay, well what? we'll it's, it's okay. Well, we'll... <laughs> you're going to redeem yourself by doing the intro to this podcast. What is the correlation? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the correlation is uh that I'm going to say I like Breaking Bad. All right, everybody shut up. It's 10. time. All right, all right, all right. No. It's bad in time. Now recording. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the break. No, we Bob. haven't even put it. shut up. We did, did, did there's two bots, so we have to start Key Arc. There he is. Now you can do it. 
<laughs> Welcome Daddy, back. That Hello, was... everybody. <laughs> it is bad. Hello, time, everybody. My everybody. name is Rock, Mark. Mark and Will Diggity and Jason and some other person. It's me doing a different voice. <laughs> oh, I'm Mo Diggity. <laughs> yes, and I'm Riley. <laughs> and I'm Ida. And I'm Jason. Who am I? <laughs> Welcome everybody to the Breaking Bad cast. It's the baddest cast in all the land. I'm your host, Riley. <laughs> Joining with us today is Demi Gloom. Say what's up. This is the, the baddest well. cast to ever break. Yes, yes, I agree. <laughs> and a special guest from the show, Gus. What's up, Gus? It's Ida. <laughs> You change your I fucking nickname. You you fucking <laughs> moron. You fucking murdered the joke. Like the like fucking like like Tuco was killed. You fucking killed the goddamn bit. You, you fucking Riley, you bitch. Uh, anyway, Wait, welcome to the Riley Live what? Movie Review Podcast. I'm oh. your host, Riley, joined by a whole bunch of guests. Today. Welcome, special guest Brian Cranston. Yep. <laughs> Mr. Walter Breaking Bad. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm introducing everybody to All of my to questions you. are related to his voice. I, I had the... I had the perfect intro, and you fucking destroyed it. No, you you don't get to do the intro. This is not the fucking Riley and you Friends movie review podcast. This is the Riley Live movie review podcast. I run this shit. I'm the fucking. Uh, are we guy. live streaming? Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. well, what's the, where's the live stream? Twitch.tv slash Riley right. streams. You retweeted no, I mean the Discord. link to the stream <laughs> earlier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I'm sorry. I uh, fucking forgot. It's all right. a tweet. I fucking, tweet a lot. I'm going to introduce you all, and you're going to talk in sequence, and we're going to establish who everybody is, and then we can devolve into chaos. Okay? Deal? Let's go to the Can you introduce me as Brian Cranston? Let's go to the returning <laughs> guest first. First of all, Jason, not Brian Cranston. Jason. Hi, Jason. I No, I'm actually secretly Brian Cranston. Uh, I'm most Everybody knows me for my role as a chief from Isle of Dogs. That definitely that one and no other role. That's True. the one I'm most known for. Demi Gloom. PRPV, so that guy who says Breaking Bad, more like Watch the Sopranos. Okay, <laughs> that wasn't Demi Gloom. We're still introducing no, ourselves here. Our... Hey, Demi Gloom, Gabagoo. what's up? Listen, I, I threw a wish in the well, but don't ask me. I'll never tell. Okay. Huh? Uh, and then Mo Diggity. Hi, everyone. How you doing? And not a returning guest to this show, but one of my old, oldest, truest movie co-hosts there is. Ida, what is up? Welcome to the show. That's right. It's me, Ida. I was the former co-host, and um, I'm back. She's back for we're gonna do we're gonna do movie reviews every week live on twitch.tv slash Riley Streams. <laughs> Me and Ida together again. <laughs> Wait, what oh no. <laughs> You're trapped. It's over. <laughs> but, it's like the end of the season. Yeah. But alright, folks. Let me tell you a little something about breaking bad season two, alright? Hey Demi. Baking mad. What? You want to give us a general paragraph plot summary of what happens in season two of Breaking Bad? I feel like if I like, I'm pretty confident that I could. You ain't like, gotta, you ain't like gotta gonna... get super specific. Like I said, this podcast operates right. under the. It's all good, man. Did you know yeah. that you have rights? Constitution says you do. I can... It operates so under I. the assumption that everybody's either seen it or doesn't care. So just a very general, oh. like, couple of sentence. Riley, summary. I'm worried that I'm gonna accidentally spoil like season three or four of Breaking Bad. I, I can. I, I can know what to say. The finale. The finale of season two is when Skyler randomly says, "I'm staying at Hank, Hank with Hank and Marie. I'm leaving the house for two days, and you better be gone when I get back," because she figured out that he's like doing a bunch of sussy shit. That's. The I don't know. Oh, two. the part where Marie died. No. <laughs> <laughs> didn't you do this and bit last episode <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm gonna be honest you know the 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 show's been out for years if you haven't watched it already that's kind of your problem listen that's not what i'm talking yeah. about De demi give us your best plot summary of season two so basically he's like jesse we need to cook and then they cook and then um Dude, no no actually i'll do it i got i i figured okay. out how to word it okay so season two 
uh, sees Walter and Jesse, um, first of all, uh, breaking from the grasp of Tuco um, after Tuco is killed by Hank. Um, and then in an attempt to start making revenue again, they try to make their own drug ring, uh, which uh, Jesse uh, recruits his junkie friends to deal meth. It doesn't work out very well. One of them dies. One of them gets arrested. Um, so it becomes clear they have to find another um, distributor. The one who um, dies gets shot by a little fucking kid. Yeah. So it's, yeah, that's, so it's that's obvious fun. they need a distributor. Um, so with the help of a lawyer they now work with named Saul Goodman, uh, they locate a man named Gustavo Fring. Hi, I'm Saul who, Goodman. <laughs> yeah. Who owns, hey, look, who look. owns Los Poyos Hermanos, the chicken store. Um, and, you said that so <laughs> <laughs> and Walter and Jesse uh, now have to prove themselves to Gus and that's that's season two and meanwhile family drama with Walter White's wife and step brother or not step brother fucking brother in law and, and sister in law and son you didn't even say you didn't say step brother and infant daughter <laughs> and uh, damn it uh, god damn it <laughs> what did you see you fucker i'll kill you i'll kill your son i'll kill your infant daughter i i, I saw I that scene like years you. ago I, I don't know what that scene is. Do not, do not I kill. will kill okay. your infant daughter. <laughs> I love the way he says daughter. Walter, put your dick away, Walter. <laughs> Walter, put your dick away, Walter. I'm not having sex with you right now, Walter. <laughs> but yeah, so... There's a whole lot of shit to unpack in this season. First of all, I didn't even remember Tuco was involved in this season. I kind of, I got the order of events mixed up and I thought Tuco died in the season one finale. But no, season two begins with like, they're, they're breaking off from Tuco. They're breaking bad from Tuco. <laughs> yeah, That's they're not the bad definition of, of breaking bad. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, but, um, how'd you guys feel about Tuco's bell ringing grandfather? What a, what a guy. What a hero. Um, Hector. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I he, I can't say because he doesn't have a character. That's not like, true. He poops in front of the DEA. Yeah, that that was awesome. That was based as fuck. Why did he do that? Why didn't he tell them? Because he hates because the he's DEA. Not a, yeah, he's not a snitch. Ain't it's no a snitch. pride thing. How do you know that though? Well, because of, uh, if you watch Better Call Saul, it, like he's got a more prominent role in that uh, show than he did. Yeah, in, shut the uh, fuck up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! You're not it's supposed not to know that. Spoiler! It is that a spoiler. Is spoiler! It is a fucking spoiler. Guys, remember when these? Remember you know when you said me telling you Mello and fucking Lindner don't date was a spoiler? I think this is on a similar scope. Wait, who is who the fuck is Mello? Oh, Linder. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, oh never, mind, never mind, never mind, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. All Wait, right, you guys had right. a podcast about Death Note? <laughs> yeah, it was pretty good. You fucking know we did, Debbie. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I I liked the, the death of Tuco. I liked that Hank got to take the kill. Hank is based, and I only love Hank more after this season. He's, a uh, spoiler alert, he's not going to get my favorite character not again. But that just speaks to how good all the characters are in this season because he's much better than he was in season one where I gave him best character. Or no, I think I gave Walt best character. But either way, all these characters improved a lot this season. I gave Hank best character. You did give Hank best character and I gave Walter best character. Uh, but all the characters have improved significantly this season. I think there's a lot of great moments from the entire cast, honestly. Brian Cranston is a fucking masterful actor. Oh yeah. It's He's hard. Always it's actor. always been hard for me to answer the question of my favorite actor. I think I might just commit to the answer being Brian Cranston now cuz holy shit. He pulls this off perfectly. He literally is Walter White. <laughs> oh my god, he's literally me. <laughs> literally me for real. He just like me for real. <laughs> he just like me for real. Oh, he just like me for <laughs> Christ. Dude, would you ever talk about like the best character being introduced? In I'm scene? back. Who Gus? Wait, wait, wait. The no, other no. guy. Could I? Could Mike? I say something? Saul. Let me talk. <laughs> Hi, I'm Saul Goodman. <laughs> Did you know that you have rights? <laughs> Constitution says you do. <laughs> Could could I say something? Go, to, uh... Go ahead, Ida. Um, 
they obviously were setting something up in season one with Marie, but it just never got addressed. Bro, Marie is hot as fuck. <laughs> Not Jenny. that. You mean Hank? Yeah, Hank's wife, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Hank's wife. No, uh, no, she's not. Later season. Like with the Isn't like with the tiara, you know, and it just never comes up. Listen, no, it comes back and like. Not true. It comes. Yeah, it comes out. Four. Comes back later. Jane is the best Breaking yeah. Bad girl, and Marie is not even second place. She's third I place. Agree. Se- second place is Carmen. But Marie is the hottest main Breaking Bad girl. Who the fuck is... Oh, fucking... <laughs> no, the hottest... Really? Yes. Okay, the hottest Breaking Bad character is Jesse. That's okay, true. well, if I'm, if I'm appreciating masculine attractiveness, then yeah, it is Jesse. But... No, uh-uh. It's Mike. <laughs> that fucking voice, bro. Walter. Gus is so... <laughs> Gus is the close second. <laughs> Anyways, can we talk about my boy Saul Goodman? Yeah, go ahead. No. I fucking love. Listen, I something I absolutely love is like lawyer shit in TV shows, even if it's not like realistic. I'm just like hell yeah, man. So my boy Saul out here pulling the skeevy lawyer act. I fucking love that shit. I just want to. I just want to say that. That's all I have to say. That's epic. And I'm just glad he got introduced, and then he got his own spinoff. That's literally ending tomorrow. Yeah, Saul was only yeah, like a, Saul was only in a couple episodes, but he was a very big standout. He gets more uh, attention in the later seasons. Oh, spoiler, spoiler, spoiler! Don't you spoiler? Shut the fuck oh, up. I can't oh, believe that you. Oh, I can't believe that you spoiled the fact that Saul Goodman has his own spinoff. <laughs> and How there's characters from Breaking Bad in there. Oh what? my god. Mo, I can't believe this. Okay, yeah, but which characters appear is kind of a spoiler. Don't well, like I all mean, of them not, appear. I mean, I don't know, not really. No, not all of them. Because I know like, Mike it, appears. It's like, it's like when you're watching a Marvel movie and it's like, oh, that's the guy. It's Blorco. I can't so, believe Blorco <laughs> from Blorco <laughs> is in the Avengers. Oh, oh Jason, um, real quick, you don't have to explain it. You know, because it would be spoilers if you explain it. But I just want to know if this is a plot hole or if I'm just creating this plot hole out of thin air. So okay. Gus is in Better Call Saul, right? Yes. So. In in Breaking Bad in this season, Saul says that he does not know Gus. He knows a guy who knows a guy who knows a guy who knows Gus. He does not know his name. He's never talked he, to him. That's what Saul said. But it, yes, it, and Gus is. It's not a plot Saul. hole. Oh, okay. It's not a plot. Saul hole. knows okay. of Gus, but he mostly just knows about him through Mike, who is very much in the show. And that's not a yeah, spoiler because he's in episode one. I've also seen like promotional images of Better Call Saul with Mike in them. So, yeah, Mike is like honestly, I thought his character was great in Breaking Bad. It gets even better in Better Call Saul. I mean, Mike is, is Mike the Jesse of Better Call Saul? Not no. Really. You, I actually no. like Mike. No, Wait Mike a minute! Is... Wait! Whoa! 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 whoa. Do Mike you not like Jesse, dude? Every time I hear him go like. Come on, yo, yeah, science, bitch. I want to fucking curb stomp him into a fucking curb stomp. But he is unironically so the cute. best character I in the show. I hate him so much. I hate he is him literally so the much. best character in the show. Jesse is so uh, cute. How do you hate Jesse? Do you like Skylar? Because he's a, no, no, God, no. No, he's just a fucking piece of shit. Like, oh, I honestly, don't like how he honestly, talks. No, I don't like Gen Z. No, no, no. So. It, I don't okay, like stop being a fucking moron. That's the only half of Walter Jr. because of how he talks. No, that's only Ooh, half the reason why I hate fucking Jesse. He's also like half the other reason why like the show goes as as bad as it goes. Like, you know, they're trying to fucking take down Tuco from like episode. I think it was like the what like Near a, the end a of Tuco season dies. one. And then yeah, he yeah, dies yeah, and he. Two. Yeah, they almost get him the first time, and Jesse just starts uh, fucking rattling off while they're on the fucking couch. Like, you know what the secret ingredient is? Uh, uh, fucking. Uh, I think it was like chili cayenne powder. pepper, chili, chili, chili powder. 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 And, and he goes, "I fucking hate chili powder." Right as he's about to fucking die, like if Jesse would just shut the fuck up. Well, how you know, does he know? He doesn't know that. Yeah, he hates Jesse chili was trying to sell it because Tuco was like being like weird about it, and then he's like, "No, no, no." Yeah, he could have said. Yeah, he could have just said another, about a million other things, but because he's fucking dumb. You know, he goes, I fucking are hate you? this shit. 
You are yeah, seriously it's, 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 getting it's, it's, angry at for someone no, literally can you missing not be like emotionally a one invested in a million dumb characters because Jesse's dumb and makes a lot of mistakes, but he's also okay. like, no, it, was, just, it was unironically a lot of thinking. Y'all are making a lot of assumptions uh, here. Like I'm not inv- no, like I just don't it's like really him. Good. Like I just I I don't like he uh, like I don't like him. Like I think it would be better off if he got a bullet in the fucking head in the middle of season oh, one. Come on, because he's a piece um, of shit. Like for he's real, not a like piece he's, of shit. He's such yes, a he but, fucking he's, is. I, he's a good boy, and I want the world for him. I want the world no, for Jesse Pinkman. No, no, Je- makes- Jesse is a dumbass fucking yeah. junkie who gets a, who causes a lot more problems than he's fucking worth. All right, I mean for and Christ's then, sake, then, for Christ's sake, he he fucking like he kills the fucking Winnebago in the middle the fucking desert and they had to do that macgyver shit to fucking uh, uh charge it back up like he just makes dumb mistakes constantly that, that, that wasn't that his macgyver fault. shit was, was fucking it was though. his fault that was it epic. was his fault he he left the fucking key into the ignition it was turned supposed it, like, to beep all... okay but mo mo you forget that like jesse is still he's just he's got the best intentions bro and he, honestly and the of the entire show more than fucking skyler He's he's probably like the most morally correct, if I'm gonna be honest. The, the most... No, th- th- that's just incorrect. That like no. Well, I think the so moral not... the moral high ground is like Walter Jr. and then it's yeah, and, well, and then yeah. It's of Jesse. the people who are actively involved. Yeah, and then for sure it's Jesse. Yes. Well, no, what about it, it would be it, it would be Hank and and fucking Walt Jr. who's just there for breakfast. Well, well, what you about know. Marie? Listen, Marie you can't just like... reference the Breaking Bad rap from Robot Chicken, okay? It's not. Yes, allowed. I can. You watch <laughs> Marie's not involved in the. Marie's not involved in like I'm talking like purely of everybody who's involved with like the drug shit. Then like it would be Hank and Jesse. Who are, well, like, Hank on the doesn't get involved in drug shit. He's just like Hank. A cop. Hank is like a hero. He's a he, 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 agent. He literally he works for the drug enforcement agency. But he's not making it. Oh my fuck! But he like makes he makes meth involved. in the video that he played Minecraft with Crackity, so that counts. That Wait, counts what? Yet. He that what? <laughs> he sold meth. There's in a Minecraft. video where Dean Norris, actor of Hank Breaking Bad, play plays Minecraft with Quackity, and they make meth. Who the fuck is Quackity? <laughs> he's a YouTuber. He's like he's like a famous YouTuber. PewDiePie. <laughs> That's also <laughs> yeah. a famous YouTuber. That's all. <laughs> also a famous YouTuber. I'm what sorry, you... I just, like, I, I know people like Jesse Pinkman and his uh, ilk, you know, like, back in the day in real life, so it's like, I'm already turned off by those characters, because they're it's more... okay, Mo, before. we don't forgive you. I really like, I really like Walter, though, because I like when Walter does <laughs> some Walter. cool chemist stuff to get them out of, like, a jam. Walter is great know? when he does anything, because Brian Cranston is such a good fucking actor. At any moment Walter White is on screen, I am engaged. Like, there might be, like, some side character scenes where I'm not engaged, like, in fucking Skinny Pete's making a drug <laughs> deal. <laughs> like, I'm not really engaged. But any moment Walter White is visible, this show is engaging as fuck. I mean, to be fair, Skinny Pete's actor is, like, definitely better than some main actors. The Wait, all the main actors are great. What main actors in the show do you not like? Skyler is terrible. She's a good act. She's a terrible character, but, like, she's terrible on purpose. No, she's terrible because the actor sucks. I don't think the actress for Skyler sucks. Do, do people think this? What, let's get around the yeah. line here. She's literally, like, one of the most hated characters in, like, anything. Yeah, but I hate her, like, and it feels like I'm supposed to hate her. Yeah, but, like, people just, like, I don't know, they just, something, something about Skyler just, like, really struck a chord, because, like, they, oh, she's gotten a lot of death threats, like, the actress. But, well, let me say this. <laughs> let me say this. Any time she says something about fucking crystal healing or whatever the fuck or like asian healing it fucking oh i forgot you're like a you you seethe over crystals that's because i'm a scientist i mean the crystals literally do give you superpowers have you ever heard of crack i'm going to kill you have you ever heard of crack (laughs) Ida, Ida, maybe I'm off like, base you, here, but real you, quick, I just want to—I just want to ask the people at home. But I don't mean to roast you, Ida, but I kind of do. Also, um, is calling yourself a scientist when you're just in university studying science—is that—is that pretentious? Am I the only one who's kind of thinking that? 
No, that's like just normal. Being pretentious is also normal for scientists, though. That's true. <laughs> I mean, I, mean I, I would. I, I'd take advantage of it. Yeah. Like, you know, if I'm going for my doctorate degree in, like, you know, I don't yeah. know, veneology or something, I would, you like, refer always, to myself as know. Dr. Mo all the fucking time. You should always call, like, make yourself sound as smart as possible. Yeah, it makes the rubes easier to manip manipulate. Yeah, I'm actually a president. No, you're not. I'm president. Yeah, I am. I'm, I'm the pre president no, I'm, of your mom. I'm a president of a, of a yeah. club. I once, I once had a teacher who was going for a doctor, doctorate, and we all called her Dr. Wolfie. It was really funny. Dude, Dr. Doctor, doctor Wolfie? Really? <laughs> no, that's not their real name. <laughs> Dr. Wolf. <laughs> Dr. Wolf. <laughs> Dr. Wolf is like an awesome name. That is a base name, actually. I'm yeah. pretty sure that's like an actual like scumbag who like did some you know not good things to Jewish people in the 40s. Oh shit! But anyway, okay, we, we gotta talk about my favorite. Bad. We gotta talk about the best character. Not real. I'm not giving her my favorite that's character, true. but I love her. Uh, fucking Jane. I the thought Jane and Jesse's relationship was super cute. It was very cute. I, the apology girl thing that was fucking adorable. I my favorite moment was when uh, Jane showed Jesse the magic of heroin, <laughs> <laughs> and he literally like that's floats. A, that that that's was pretty top, good. That's yeah, a that, top that was ten a funny scene. moment. <laughs> no, top ten Breaking Bad funny moments. No, Any moment in the show that's like tragic, I'm just gonna say it's top ten funny moments. <laughs> Yeah, that was a really good fucking a uh, uh, drug scene. Like it, it's sort of a, uh, you can sort of tell that the the person whoever wrote that episode for that one specifically probably watched some train spotting because it's kind of the opposite of a uh, of, of of that that scene is sort of like the opposite of what you see them when they're doing heroin in uh, train spotting. So I thought that was kind of a cool little like a uh, subtle nod to that. One of my favorite emotional arcs in television, I will think about this forever now, is this really crazy relationship between Walter and Jesse throughout the second half of season two, where it's like Walt is so openly hostile and angry toward him and like has no real feeling for him at all. And then he becomes yeah, involved with this Jane girl and starts like taking heroin and shit. And then yeah, Walt like this is, starts yeah. caring for him genuinely, calls him his nephew when talking about him to a friend. This is this uh -huh. is why I fucking hate Walter. I'm not unironically, okay, I've been meaning to bring this up. I actually do not like Walter in like any seasons past this. Because what? all he does is he all he do is lie, manipulate, and just be mean to Jesse. And I feel so bad for my home. Jason, you know and, how and much Jesse, I adore Light Yagami. That sounds like a very similar dichotomy. <laughs> just like lying and, and cheating time, and committing like, awful acts. But this I time, will. you can clearly tell Walter like feels bad for the things he's doing, but he still chooses to do it anyway. And I, I love how there's like period uh, periodically, uh, Jesse will just fucking disappoint uh, Walter. Like dude, going back to the fucking uh, Winnebago thing while they're in the middle of the desert after the battery dies. You know he uh, he quizzes them a little bit like they're back in freaking school, and uh, Jesse, who's just too stupid or freaking strung out, he's like he gets the answer semi right, but he disappoints them when uh. Uh, when when Walter's trying to jog his memory, he's like, "We're going to use something called," and he goes, "The wire," and he just like has that look like a dis like a father disappointed in his son. He's like, "No copper, copper, Jesse," oh. and it just sort of like ruins the like kind of cool moment that they were having for like a minute. It doesn't and ruin it. No, no, it it does. If you look at it, it like kind of like ruins his there, like not for us, but for those two. Like he's he got he went back to being disappointed and angry at him again. I guess. I mean, well, I mean, it's specifically in that episode, in that instance, with everything going on. Yeah. What do you mean? I, hmm. I'm drinking I mean, a sprite. Ah, uh, I fucking choke on your sprite. Here's the thing. God, I thought. I thought, like, when Walt 
like, remember when Walt, like, watched Jane die? Yeah. That was a, that was a hard moment. scene. Yeah, why do that you think... That was a hard he, scene to watch. Why do you think he did that? Moment. It's pretty obvious, because he thought that Jane was, like, a bad influence for... Yeah, yeah so let the bitch like, die, you get, you get your fucking, uh, you get, you get your little side Holy lacking. shit, I've been you muted this whole time. Everybody shut the fuck... I've been, like, screaming at you to shut up for, like, three minutes. <laughs> you're stuck. Why yeah, no wonder we were having up? a good conversation. <laughs> I was why wondering... Yeah, yeah, no wonder we were having a good I, I wanted to talk about Jane dying because it's just the the weird like roller coaster of Walter White where he starts to gain this genuine concern for Jesse after being blackmailed by Jane. He talks to unbeknowingly Jane's dad in a bar and like describes Jesse as his nephew and like asks for advice about his daughter and like they had this very genuine conversation. And then he goes to the house to like try to save Jesse's life and get him to get clean and stop taking heroin. And he gets there. He's trying to wake Jesse up. He accidentally knocks Jane out of her side onto her back and she starts fucking coughing up vomit. And he immediately jumps to save her and then he stops himself. And then he, yeah, just sits, like, there, he yeah. sits there and he starts crying as she dies. And have you guys seen the interview where Brian Cranston said, like, as she was, like, f choking on the fake vomit, he, like, envisioned his own daughter briefly and it freaked him the fuck out? Oh. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, yeah it was, uh, it, it's, it's sort of credited as being the official no one going back uh, point uh, for I Walter. Think, I don't I think, think so. Because yeah. he, he let her die. I mean, he didn't kill her, though. No, yeah, he did. Okay. Oh. It's, it's he's directly responsible. Well, it, no, he it's like every, the trolley. No, 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 hold on. He, like, no, he, he, had, he is directly responsible because he knocked her off her side. She was on her side. Yeah. So she would have survived. And, and he could have easily saved her life easily, but he decided not to. So he did directly murder her. I mean, yeah, but he helped Jesse after the fact. Well, you could have let yeah, Jesse die. That, that, that was the other emotional Jeez. thing, where like he takes he takes such care in taking care of Jesse, making sure he doesn't get in trouble, getting him out of that crazy drug house, and putting him in rehab. He like cares for Jesse like his own child during this period, and it's like yeah. it's the the emotional Wait. comparison to the fact that he just let his girlfriend fucking die, who he like cry you... he cries in Walt's arms, and he's like, I loved her more than anything, and Walt just like. Sits there like, yeah, it's okay, Jesse. It's okay. I totally didn't kill it's her. It's okay. Anything. I let that bitch <laughs> Wait, can, I, can I talk about something really quick? Sure. Uh, the plane know, crash scenes that are throughout this season. That was weird. I didn't even understand that when it paid off. Like, I know a plane crash happens. But oh, like, yeah. Was, like, the gathering of the evidence and shit. I guess I'll, we'll find that out in season three. It was oh, all, no, no, no. It was just all meant to be, like, foreshadowing. Yeah, it was all foreshadowing, and it wasn't like a, a gathering any like kind of evidence on, on Walter or anything. He was, was just inadvertently up. involved. Like it will. Uh, yeah, that was the uh, twist. Was... We thought it was about like Walter having evidence gathered, but then yeah, the it, it was the plane crash. It's yeah, yeah and then you see though. the two body bags outside, and you're like, wait, is that? You know, for a second, you're like, is that Jesse and Walt? And then I remember there's three more seasons. So. <laughs> it becomes about Walter Breaking Jr. Breaking Bad shows Walter Jr. cooking <laughs> crystal meth. Yeah, and Wal Walter you know Jr. What? cooking breakfast. <laughs> and you know what? Oh, God. <laughs> and, and you know what? I'll go ahead and go one further. I'm going to go ahead and lay the lives down uh, on the, at the feet of uh, Walter uh, yeah, for the plane crash. Because, because if he didn't fucking let Janie die, or Jane, is it Janie or Jamie? It's Jane. 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 Oh, Jane. You said, if Jane, you, you said, is it Janie or Janie? <laughs> no, Janie or Janie. Learn to listen, you douche. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. No, uh, uh, yeah, if it weren't for him letting her die, uh, her father wouldn't have went to work, uh, you know, not ready to go back to work. And those people wouldn't have died in that fucking plane crash. I so think it's. it's 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 sort of indirectly his fault, but I'll gladly lay them uh, the deaths of them at his feet. I'm gonna say it's the father's fault. Well, How yeah, is it's the father's, the father's fault? fault. What the fuck? Well, no, because he shouldn't have been going. Well, to he work did go and... into work when he clearly was not prepared. Yeah, but I I wouldn't I wouldn't like you know like try and advocate getting charges thrown up against him though because it wasn't a, it was his fault, but it's not his fault at the same time. 
Like, I would argue charges, you know? It, it was still, like, like, indirectly, it was still, like, Walter's fault, though. So that's, like, what, the main thing you're focusing on. When, when I watched this season, I thought that, um... I actually thought that he did it intentionally at first. Oh, no, no, no. no. He was just fucked up in space. And... Yeah, I was like, you know, when he heard the plane that was called Jane, I remember that. Like when the person you no, love it dies, just had you like, like a commit J suicide word. by cop. Except like much more brutal and not self inflicted Fuck. <laughs> just like fuck everything yep. and everyone. My daughter's dead. I'm gonna crash these planes real quick. The whole world yeah, shall I, burn. Thought, <laughs> I thought that's what it was. He obviously did not crash the planes on purpose. I know, but like, like... it's an interesting alternative way to think about it. Well, That's not really. There's nothing that but... actually like uh, corroborates that. Oh, do you want to talk about uh, the main man himself, Gus? Hold on, real quick. Uh, I want to ask a question. I want to talk about both him and Mike. I want to ask a what, question what before have? we get to Gus. What do you have to ask? Um, so, there are two ways in which uh, the Jane scene can be interpreted. Do you guys think more so he kill he let Jane die because she blackmailed him, or he let Jane die because she was a bad influence on Jesse? I think it was oh, a little bit of both. And jealousy. Both. I, I think it was a bit of both. Like, do you think there was some amount of righteousness in, like, him? He, like, he let her die so that she wouldn't take Jesse down with her? Maybe well, a bit. Yeah, a little bit. But like, anyway, it was yeah, mostly, we, we can talk about uh, Gus and Mike. Oh, go I ahead, mean, I, 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 I... Okay, yeah. no problem. I, I do feel that it was mostly, like possessiveness and him thinking that he knew best and he found a way to solve a problem by letting something that jesse loved die and so yeah i i think it was sort of maybe a little bit self-righteousness maybe a little bit i know better than you i'm the adult and you're just some junkie and this isn't me saying that this would be him in his head saying it's like that. in his own like twisted crazy way his heart's in the right place yeah, but like doing the worst possible fucking thing, letting letting someone choke on their own vomit, like not the way you'd ever want to go, you know. Literally an anti. I mean, she was sleeping. Is it this know? season where? Uh, yeah, the, I, I think it is. Up. I think it is this season where Jesse like is homeless for a time and he falls into that porta potty. Was that this season or was that last season? Yeah, that was this season. Okay, no, it was this season. It was this season. Okay, so. Yeah. Oh, I thought he was breaking into the uh, uh, to the uh, uh, to the impound place. Yes. To yeah. Yeah. That. So what happens is his parents yeah. him a victim from his in. house, and then he he oh. can't find anywhere to stay, so he sneaks into the impound lot to sleep in his RV, and he falls into the porta potty, and he sleeps. He smells like shit. Uh, the guy won't give him his R RV back, so he steals his RV back. Um, and this whole time he does make attempts to contact Walt, but Walt just won't hear it. Like he's just like, no, Walt's you're not a... supposed to call this number. Shut the fuck up. Leave me alone. Like he, he like rips his phone off of his cord because Jesse keeps calling him. And then that's when <laughs> Walt. That's when he chokes Walt out, right? When he comes back looking for his money. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah, have yeah. like this big fight, and then and then Walt. No, they have this big fight because uh, Jesse pulls up in the RV in Walt's driveway, and Skyler like <laughs> drives away as he gets yeah. there, so she like could have seen it. And then Walt gets on the RV and like starts just like laying into Jesse, and then Jesse just fucking attacks him, and then remember, he lets, yeah. and then he lets Jesse come in and get cleaned up and eat breakfast because Walt is this weird uncle <laughs> figure. Walter is literally he's like, I'm so fucking surprised he doesn't like domestically abuse Skylar at all throughout the show. <laughs> he does I mean, he rape her once in season one. What? Well, I mean, yeah, you know, he does. That, that doesn't kidding. actually happen. Was, He's no, I don't. That's not. Yeah, I, I don't no. think that actually happened. It's not There's that. No, no, it. Everybody, shut up. It's literally like, technically, yeah, he didn't ask beforehand, but Skyler was like so into it. She was into what? it for like yeah, a minute, and then like, when he started, she was like, no, 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 no. Yeah, she keeps telling him no repeatedly. Oh wait, what? Am I mis? I don't know. I actually, I'm gonna be. She kind of, she I talks like she's into it. Like she has a face mask on, and he starts, and she's like, "Hold on, let me clean this off first. And then he keeps going, and she's like, "Walter Jr. might be home soon." And then like he really. Oh, I gets thought you were going. talking about at, like the end <laughs> of episode one. No, 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 no. 
Oh, I thought you're okay. I, you're you're talking about the other. Moment. It was this yeah, season. Yeah, no, that's when like Walter. That was straight no, up. That was the... season one still, but like late season one. Why is Mrs. Gloom being so quiet? Why Trauma. is Mrs. Gloom being so quiet? She too caused a plane crash. I have crash. no particular reason. Well, Demi, give us some of your thoughts Demi on the Gloom. things you've been discussing. Um, it's I good. watched Jane die, Jesse. <laughs> No, you get that's a spoiler that I've already seen. Wait, no, that's you That's not a spoiler. Why? No. Everybody... Shh, 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 shh. Don't worry, it's okay. We're going to move on. To <laughs> Ida starts like... crying literally. I watched Ida die. Oh. I watched Ida die. <laughs> you know, going back real quick before we start talking about Gus and Mike, uh I I do feel that Walt uh, Walter was totally within the right to berate Jesse for showing up in the fucking meth in the meth making Winnebago that just screams. Uh, huh? I mean, how it's was he supposed to? Okay. Well, well, we... Yeah. Sorry. Uh, yeah. He had every right to like bitch at him for doing that because it, it's a Winnebago that screams. This is a walking crime lab. Or the rolling crime lab, and it's on his street, you know, in front of his house, like it's just a randomly out of the blue, like no one, like people would uh, would would notice that. So Wait. yeah, that that could totally like compromised his uh, uh, anonymity as Heisenberg. Is this the see? Uh, hold on, it's not the yeah, season. Yeah, yeah. I... But, yeah, yeah, yeah. But here's the thing, Jesse told him he needed that money like 10 times already, and like, he had to go to get it, or else... Of, yeah. It is Walter's fault. Yep. Yeah, because it, it, he's a, his junky ass and his fucking junky girlfriend were like, we need money so we can do more drugs. I want to shoot up okay. more heroin. They were, but they were still totally that owed that money, though. Totally, totally, totally. And Walter was kind of an asshole, like, you know, disconnecting the phone line. That's actually what I do when Baz calls me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I think the most, like, the most, like, bone chilling, like, Walter just hanging up and not hearing it is after Jesse gets kicked out by his parents. Like, the movers are there just, like, forcibly taking all of his shit, and he, like, has to get out of there. And he's trying to call Walter, being like, please just give me some money. My parents kicked me out of my house, and I need a place to stay. And he just won't listen. Jesse's like, I'm in trouble. I need money. And Walt's like, you're not supposed to call this number. Shut the fuck up. Fuck you. And Jesse keeps calling, and Walt keeps hanging up on him. And then at the end of the day, fucking Walt rips his phone out of his cord, and then the movers take Jesse's phone. Hold on for a second. Okay. What are we holding on to? We're not going to hold on for a second. We lied. Um, so. Um, I lied. I lied. <laughs> <laughs> so Mike and Gus, we got our, the Los Poyos Hermanos boys are here. It's, it's, oh, yeah. <laughs> well, Jason, you seem to have Los a lot Poyos to say about these characters. So, so why don't you take yeah. us there? I want to talk about Gus first because he's not really like in this. It, he's not really in this season. He's in like he the last much, two episodes of this season. Yeah, but he gets he gets way more important in season three and four. But uh, actually, uh, the original plan was just that just like Giancarlo Esposito, actor who plays Gus, is was like he was just meant to be like a quick like one and done deal. Like he was only meant to be in this season and then disappear from the rest of the show. But he uh. As he puts it, he wanted to play a character who was clearly hiding something evil, but trying to be nice. And like Vince Gilligan and co just liked it so much that they were like, can you please be on our show more? Yeah, Gus, so I'm, fun... I'm already seeing the seeds planted for him being a very interesting character. Oh, yeah. And he's also he's just such a good actor, too. He's he's act he's the best actor on the show. Yo, oh, yeah, fantastic. I saw like some meme yeah. about how like he's always a villain in seeking of some sort of crystal. <laughs> oh yeah something no something blue already has something yeah something blue the, yeah I, I and like the boys the scene. and mandalorian he's just i like, like the I scene when uh homelander bust into los poyos and oh, uh, shit. <laughs> and then yeah and then <laughs> gus is like the you ship. man child that you are release the formula to compound v yeah that was, that was my favorite scene just yeah and then he ends it with you like you know what you are you're a bad product yeah, that was okay. I don't. 
You're not Los Pollos Hermanos the material. The boys. He he mm-hmm. didn't put he did it he he wasn't up to Poya's standards. <laughs> I mean, Gus... That's an actual line that he said. But uh, I fucking love Gus. Uh, he doesn't have much to do in this season, but like, but all, like you can clearly tell what he's all about just from those scenes. Like he's clearly putting up a front, but also yeah. he's like res- he's respectable, and he clearly has like a set of, like guides that he sticks by, guidelines that he sticks Dude, by. It's like he doesn't do dealing snap... with funkies. The character snap with Gus, where he's just like this nice, like stand up gentleman who owns the fucking Los Poyos Hermanos. And then Walter's like, sit at the table five minutes of your time, please. And then he just like starts begging him to let him cook meth for him. And then Gus, like his character immediately, like the switch gets turned. And he's I like, was I, don't th- <laughs> I don't think we're alike at all, Walter. Your mm-hmm. partner fucking <laughs> sucks, dude. And it's like, wow. <laughs> shows of late and high it was literally that fucking meme that, that he was like I was acting <laughs> and then he, he makes the most dead stare I mean he basically plays the same character in the boys because he's like this corrupt yeah. businessman who puts up a well, front he's not, like, he's not really hiding it that much in the boys yeah it's it's a lot less hiding it's in that way one more, it's, more it's way open. more obvious that he's like up to shit I mean, yeah, but like obviously, you know, very yeah, similar yeah. characters, right? Let me state this: you are not our most valuable product. The formula to compound V is. Yeah, I, I like. Um, they should introduce compound V on uh, Breaking Bad. <laughs> yeah, people just start getting superpowers. Yeah, make Walter White have like laser eyes or something. Oh, that would God. be so based. No, he would be like a literal like a. His superpower would be able to uh, conjure up like a chemical e- uh, chemical equations or, or or something like that. Oh, oh like, yeah. Uh, like yeah. I guess with it, like within like his uh, environment, like if it's like a like if he's around like a mountain, it has a bunch of iron. He can do like iron based uh, abilities or something like that. No, no, no Mo, his superpower is air cancer. And water. He's cancer man. Oh. That was well, the he's season already one episode cancer was Cancer Man. man. Season It'll be like eight. Deadpool. He just kind of has cancer, but his superpower is just stopping him from dying. Yeah, from his cancer. superpower is not dying from the cancer that he has. Can, yeah. I talk, can I talk about the similarities between this show and Death Note? You like, see, I was going to ask you to do that because we've discussed this in DM, so please eat it by all means. Okay, so oh you God. have White and Walter White are obviously very similar. Even, like, their alter egos are similar. You know, Heisenberg. Kira and Heisenberg, and- yeah. Yeah, and I just realized wow. Jesse is basically Misa Amane, right? <laughs> this, like, this person who, like, he switches on a dime between some seemingly caring about and wanting dead on the floor. <laughs> And yeah, just like well, use, this using is the most them, dead comparison I've ever heard. Using them for fucking gain. Yeah, basically, and Skyler could be compared to Light's dad, except Light's dad was a likable character. Um, you know, I, I suppose the dynamic is similar. That he's like, uh, so Ichiro and Skyler are both like portrayed as these like moral. <laughs> moral upstanding people but then uh skylar fucks ted and she kind of loses that later on but we still think she's that way here yeah yeah that's the most stupidest comparison most stupid and then it's the weird the weirdest thing is like i guess if skylar is soichiro then that would make hank 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 is usually compared to soichiro just because of the family role so i guess that makes hank more of an l figure in that case yeah, and I, I was gonna say, Tuco, Tuco kind of reminds me of Mello. That's a better. You told me you, Tuco reminds you of the Yotsuba group, and I was like, you tripping. But the Mello's a little bit better. I I, I can see nah, the Tuco Gus and is Mello. the Yotsuba group. Yeah, Gus is the Yotsuba group. Exactly. Gus and Los Poyos and Manos. And um, I guess who would be near then? Uh, Saul. Mike. <laughs> 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 we're talking about mike now yes i just want to say uh mike based character that's that's honestly that's all I, mean, I have to say he doesn't really do much i don't I even mean, he's not really a character he's just jonathan banks jonathan banks just showed up on set and vince gilligan just started rolling and then they just kind of went with it that's Wait actually how what? Go ahead. no keep going 
Yeah, you know, there was actually no casting for a character like that. Jonathan Banks just like walked on set, like <laughs> high on some shit. So it's, it's then, kept saying Walter. <laughs> hey Walter. Yeah, yeah, and he was like, Walter, put your dick away, Walter. <laughs> and then Vince Gilligan was like, No, 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 keep rolling. We can keep, use rolling this. keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling. Um, but to say the Death Note comparison, I was absolutely right because I thought about it for a minute. Saul is near because Saul gets introduced no. into the story and then immediately figures out Walter White is Heisenberg and calls him the fuck out, just like near did to light. Oh, well, there was no scene. Where, well, I'm not going to spoil the end of Death Note, but the, the endings are. I know, I, I know Saul. I know Saul doesn't catch Walt, but it's like just the comparison of him like me figuring out immediately that Walt is Heisenberg and showing up in his classroom, being like, "Wow, you really are a chemistry teacher. That's hilarious." Yo, I know you're Heisenberg, bitch. Get fucked. Walter Hartwell White. You better call Saul. I'm your lawyer now. I get all your money. Better call Saul. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just like it's. They also kind of have like similar themes, I guess, because they're both shows where a good person turns bad. They're both shows where a good person has some sort of good intentions, although Walt's are more initially selfish than Lights are. But they're both about good I people mean, who have good both... intentions who end up doing mm. things that drive them into becoming an awful, evil person. And until the very end, they think they're in the right, and then they, like, realize, like, oh shit, no, I'm not. <laughs> I don't I think, think Light, Light ever realized he was... I think yeah, Light realized Light it as, as he, like, died. Like his final. Okay, moments. yeah. Whatever you uh, want to tell yourself. I don't think he realized that. I feel like. Have you seen the? Well, I'm not gonna get into Death Note movie lore. It, it's like a whole thing. No, no, hit us with it. I want to hear the Death Note movie lore. Well, he actually becomes a god in the Death Note movies. No, because... that's a theory. That's not real. That's not confirmed. Fan okay, theory. but in the comics, also Donald Trump gets the Death Note canonically. That's, that's true. No, that seems <laughs> yeah, hilarious because no, it proves that, that true. it proves that Donald Trump is like a fucking asshole who doesn't care about America for shit. Because Ryuk's like, all right, you can take this. Oh, uh, what country. if he was gonna use it to write? A no, <laughs> shut up! No, no, no. Ryuk walks up because there's a new rule in the Death Note now because the Shinigami King declared that you can't sell a Death Note. So if you sell a Death Note, both the seller and the buyer dies. The seller dies when he takes the money. The buyer dies when he claims the Death Note. So Donald Trump is the buyer and Ryuk shows up and he's like, you can take this death note for your country and then you'll die, but your country will have this death note and they won't be able to be like targeted with it. They'll have it. Or you cannot take this death note and stay alive and, and that's it. And Donald's like, okay, I won't take the death note, but I'll pretend that I did. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, that's a, pretty clever plan that's actually yeah that's big brain just pretending you have it but it's like it, it's big brain but it's a big brain in an evil way because he's like gaslighting his country into thinking that he's well noble. really he's, well, he's also gaslighting other countries to say that, hey that's don't true fuck too. with me yeah i have the power of god and literally it, man, everybody. I yeah it's literally just to like make to make sure everybody just kind of backs the fuck off you know to be fair no, nuclear I mean, weapons are a bit more deadly than a death note well uh, i mean they can kill more people quicker but a death note is certainly capable of the most murder i think uh, if you nuclear bomb china versus just like writing xi jinping's death why are we talking about death note in the breaking bad stream because i don't know who's the one show? who brought it up asshole it's <laughs> not similar at all you just want to talk they are about really anime. not similar at all yeah i, I feel to like see how you. they are no, they oh, the main character is a criminal trying to hide his criminal <laughs> fucking roots. No, like, fucking, that's just incorrect, man. Walt is reluctant to become Heisenberg. Fucking, uh, uh, fucking, uh, oh, god Light. damn it, now I space on his Light Yagami, uh, fucking embraces it almost immediately and becomes a fucking, like, a tyrant with it. Well, I mean, not, like, you, yeah, you he, he fucking takes his time, but he, he fucking, he loves it. You can and, and Heisenberg kind of doesn't, or uh, no, Walt no, 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 kind of no. doesn't. He does, though. You can compare it where Light initially is, like, in the very first episode, he's initially hesitant about the Death Note, and then something, like, snaps in him. For and he just, five like, minutes! Hold on! Yeah, something for five like, minutes. Something, like, snaps in him, and he goes hard. And I think Walt goes through a similar arc uh, with becoming Heisenberg. And then it's not an exact comparison because there's no amnesia in Breaking Bad. But, like, I could even compare some of, like, Walt's, like, regrets to the, the good boy light arc <laughs> where he loses wow. his memory. Uh, you are literally not, not even 
Yeah, they the very similar stuff. On threads. Very okay. But anyway, we can we can stop talking about Death Note comparisons now. Um, what, <laughs> what else is there to talk about this season? Uh, can well, we just talk about how great that Saul Can I talk Inferno about how? Can I, oh wait, is this the season where Walt Junior calls Skylar a bitch? No, no that's season three. <laughs> That's not a spoiler, because I'm sure everybody eventually calls Skyler a bitch. Every character on the show. God, eventually, I, I'm it, sure. It, it's wish. such a good moment. <laughs> but, uh... Dude, Walt, Walter Jr. is an MP, MVP. Set up SaveWalterWhite.com I want to talk about my favorite moment from this season. No, no, no. We do that at the end. Oh, no, we do a favorite no. episode. Never mind. So, go ahead. I want to talk about the scene where Walter and Mike are in the same room, and and Mike is just like Walter, but you dick away, Walter. <laughs> it's not, didn't happen. It's not real. I'm not having sex with you right now, Walter. I love how that meme says "right now," implying <laughs> at some point they will have sex. <laughs> Later, you can get a little bit of this sloppy toppy, Walter. I think I think the best scene is objectively Jane's death scene because of Walter's like amazing. Literally acting. not true. Okay, what's the best scene in season two then? The best is uh, literally any scene from the uh, episode where the fucking RV is stranded in the desert. That's good, but I don't know. Oh, Jane, Jane's death scene is fucking based. Oh, we have to talk about the song. What the? Oh, I think that, that was season one, wasn't it? No. no season. Oh, that, that was the, the Ballad season. of Heisenberg is really based. <laughs> the, the the like Mexican uh, <laughs> band. It's called yeah, <laughs> and it's based as fuck, and it's also played in The Walking Dead as an Easter egg. Really? Yeah. Wow. There's a, I I just know that there's like a scene where it's playing in the background. Damn, is Heisenberg oh, canon cool. to Walking Dead? There have been so many fan theories about that because, like, oh, there's a so they play the song as a little Easter egg, but maybe it's the same universe. And like Breaking Bad ends, like the storyline ends around 2010, and that's when the outbreak started in The Walking Dead. Yeah, holy and, shit! And there's been blue, and there's been blue bags of meth spotted occasionally in the show. Oh yeah, there's also yeah, yo, the fucking blue it's meth real. Doesn't everybody? Is that the zombie then, show everybody then, hates the, now? Jesse. Yeah, and there are then zombies Vince everywhere. Gilligan, Jesse. Vince we have Gilligan to go, Jesse. was literally like, I had no idea that my sh that like Breaking Bad shit was in The Walking Dead. I hey, don't can we see Jesse Pinkman in Walking show. Dead? Well, no. he got an entire movie. Hopefully, being eaten. <laughs> hey, Jesse is so cute. So out of curiosity, yeah. I wanted to ask you this, Jason: Do I watch El Camino before Better Call Saul or after a certain season of Better Call Saul? Uh, I recommend watching it before, but you don't have to at all. I didn't know if you wanted to, it, if I should go true chronological, because I think Better Call Saul was a couple seasons in when El Camino came out. Yeah, it was, but, uh, El Camino is still just, like, it's, you know, it's a movie, so it's so much more digestible. Okay. It's, yeah, wait, so, I, it... I, I do plan Sorry. on reviewing the uh, whole Breaking bad verse on this show, FYI. I do plan on all, I, all five I seasons would of Breaking Bad, highly, all six yeah. of Better Call Saul and El Camino. What I would highly recommend watching El Camino after Breaking Bad. Okay. Yeah, what about the new show coming out? Is what there a new, new show? show? I've heard there's, there's like a new show. A better Bang Hank. You mean, do you mean Slip, Slip <laughs> and Jimmy? Do you mean Slip and Jimmy, that shitty ass like cartoon? Yeah, no, review yeah, that, no. Riley. Oh yeah, we'll yeah no one, we'll no one wants Slip and Jimmy. Well, we'll certainly review Slip and Jimmy. Fuck so, off. No, I saw episode one. It was, it was... <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this, but it was on par with Big Mouth. That was Big really Mouth good. Is terrible. Big I Mouth is Big based Mouth. and epic. Uh, no, it's I, cringe and shitty, shittily literally made. Literally in Minecraft, moved to Greenland. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I, peacefully I have a question sunset before yourself. Before we move on. <laughs> sure, go ahead, Debbie. Peacefully sunset. Did we talk myself. about? Did we talk about like the intros? Where it shows like a bunch of like motherfuckers in like hazmat suits, yeah, yeah, like collecting. Yeah, the Yeah, we talked about yeah. that. Yeah, all that shit. And what's what's with the fucking um, the the little like stuffed animal in the eyeball shit? Like, what's going on there? Oh, that was just uh, collateral damage from the wreck. Well, right, well, actually, but like, what is it well, supposed actually, to symbolize? That eyeball is important in oh, season three. Uh, oh, oh, child it, it, it died in the plane crash. No, well, no, no, that it, or it'll, it'll be more clear in season three. 
or that or it, it no it's not yeah in episode one of season three walt like takes out the eye and he takes it with him and shit yeah but yeah. he doesn't oh explain i explain why can i, I guess with... i don't remember walt doesn't turn to the camera and say hi viewers today i'm going to explain to you today, why today I this, hello this, my name is walter this Hartwell, plastic walt. eyeball is meant to <laughs> represent my guilt for what i have done hey can, can, can i talk about the weirdest scene in here sure it turns into house of cards <laughs> no, no, no. I thought it was really weird when Walt turned to Jesse and said, We have to fuck Jesse. <laughs> that was a great scene. <laughs> yeah. And, and then, Yo, and then Jesse's like, Mr. White, Mr. White, Mr. White, put your dick away, Mr. White. I'm not having sex with you right now. <laughs> and then, yeah. the penis, bitch. Real quick, the trippiest scene in the show is like legitimately when. Walt goes to like the fucking a, a crack house to find Jesse, and he like walks past all these like creatures <laughs> that are like th these drugged out people, and then he hey, finds Jesse. They are not creatures. Like, they are simply just Jesse, homeless men. Jesse, we're gonna go to rehab, Jesse. <laughs> I watch I your girlfriend die, introduced... Jesse. We gotta go rehab, <laughs> or you gotta go rehab. I'm fine. I don't have a junkie. He like problem. spends some occasional time with him in rehab, and then he's like, "I'm not gonna come back for a while because I've got a surgery, and also I don't Jesse, really give I'm a shit about you, Jesse." Come. <laughs> Jesse, I'm, I won't come this time. I swear, I'll pull out. <laughs> Jesse, <laughs> Jesse, I'm gonna come, Jesse. <laughs> Raw. Do not come. Do not come. Yo, Mr. White, I'm not my come. face again, dog. I'm, I'm sure Jesse nah, came bitch. funny with Jane. <laughs> You, Jesse, yeah, dur, obviously. Like, that's the point of having a girlfriend. When, when I Jesse mean, the point of having a girlfriend is actually to be pegged. I'd let Jane peg me. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, favorite, <laughs> would not. favorite characters. <laughs> no, 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 Fuck you. Uh, we got more to say. <laughs> no. I would let Jane peg me. All right. Yes, All right. it's true. Who would do this, Riley? I wish you guys would like stop talking <laughs> for the rest of time. Why don't you fucking stop talking? God, I wish I could. So, oh, God, oh, another, is this like depresso espresso? Uh, is, is this depresso espresso fucking jello? No. Because you've been like, you know, really giving me some like, you know, I'm goth and work at Hot Topic vibes like the last like few minutes. <laughs> are you on about? It's like, uh, I really don't want to be here. You know, like you're about to start playing Smash and well, Pumpkins and the fucking Cure. Yeah. You know, I'm going to start hearing disintegration coming out of your fucking speakers, man. What the fuck are you on, old man? <laughs> uh, you stupid young kid. You don't know who the Cure is? <laughs> I know who the, I know who the cure is. I'm talking like, what do you yeah. mean by like, oh, this is depresso expresso? Well, be uh, because you're just being oh, goth. I don't know and who like, the cure kind of... is. I wasn't born yesterday, old man. Don't fucking call me old man, you little bastard. You're calling him old man. Why don't you man? alt F4 yourself in Minecraft? No. I fucking would if I had Minecraft installed or cared. Alright, a, a real question Yo, I want to Yo, everybody bring up, shut up. There's someone named Fart on this server. Yo? Okay, so but for real, though. Do you think... I guess this is, like, the answer is probably both, but just to discuss it emotionally. Do you think that Walter, like, so actively, like, pursues Jesse and, like, gets him into rehab and, like, cares for him because he wants to start cooking again as soon as possible or because he actually cares? He actually uh, cares. It, it, he he actually cares, but deep down, it's all about what he wants. Okay, it's yeah, just that... like it, it's just like it's like Gus Fring in, in the show. Like you eventually, like you look at the guy, you listen to him, and all that, but it's all just like window dressing for you know other nefarious evil bullshit, and it's it's just all a fucking face, you know. He's it's not real. Yo, can we like, just in like that regard, it? holy shit, Walt are guys? Alike. The ATM smashing scene. That was this season. That was, that was fucking crazy with the couple and the child and Jesse like oh, yeah. Yeah. Jesse like hide oh, and seeks yeah. the child outside and he's like, Don't go back in there, have a yeah, good life. Jesse does so have sweet. the most like moral high ground. Uh, it was, not, like, was this the guys... scene Was this the scene also No no no, I'm thinking about another scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the one with uh Patty the Daytime Hooker from My Name is Earl. Can we 
can we also talk about like how fucking pure it was that scene where like Jesse's meant to meet up with Skinny P and he like sees a beetle on the ground and he just starts like oh. letting it like crawl on its hand. Oh, and then, and then Skinny and, P and kills like, him. And then oh. Jesse's like visibly saddened. Like that is just the most pure Jesse is literally the most like pure character on the show. I don't care wow. what anybody else Wow. I'm saying it. I'm wow. saying it. Oh, so I'm now. I'm saying it. So when I talk about bugs and killing bugs and shit, it's all oh, you cocky bug cuck. And you're like, oh, he killed the bug. Listen, yeah. just like there are some good bugs, no, no, there are some good no. bug cucks. No, Demi, I don't care about the bug. I care about Jesse's reaction to the bug. Well, don't why don't you care about my reaction to the bugs? Because I don't care about you. <laughs> damn. Oh, damn. I don't damn. care about you as much as I care about fictional characters. I don't care Kingsman. that you broke your elbow. I just want to say that... Can we talk about uh, the scene where, like, Humbo was shot? Oh, that sucked, too. That he's, He was like, he seemed cool. Well, who was shot? Got shot by a kid. Old. He um, wanted to oh, kill yeah. because he was scared for the kid, but the kid was the one that shot him. Yeah, he was scared for the kid. He's like, all right, get out of here, kid. Please, go. I don't want you to get in trouble or yeah, get hurt. Cool. And then the kid fucking caps his ass. Yeah, it's gang right initiation. Like, that's how they uh, get him. It's just been revoked. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have what he's having. <laughs> He just like he just says like the most like <laughs> like nineties action movie like catchphrase. Who says that? Yeah, the kid who shot a jet <laughs> combo. Obviously, uh, <laughs> he's like it's yeah just because been revoked. I, yeah because I don't recall uh, him saying that personally. No, he said that. No, like because the dude like said, looked at the kid and went diplomatic immunity. <laughs> I just want to say real quick, Game we're, over. we're going to get to wrap up questions soon, uh, unless people are like clamoring to say certain things. So I just want to say real quick, we did kind of mention this earlier, but I do want to bring some attention to just the the tonal shift where initially when it started, the relationship between Jesse and, the, and Jane was like the most wholesome shit I've ever seen in my life. And then she starts injecting heroin and suddenly it turns into this fucking crazed bender where they're like yelling at each other about going to New Zealand and shit. And he's like, <laughs> yeah, look at all this money. We're not going to shoot it up. OK, we're not going to shoot up. We got to go get clean. OK, and then Boy. they look at it. It's like, dude, it's like a fucking like a bad version. It's like the tragic version of uh, D and Dennis smoking crack. And it's always sunny in Philadelphia. <laughs> this is the bad ending. Someone mad because they got a dick in the crack. Why did they get a dick in the crack? Oh, I want to be a veterinarian. Oh. Oh, my girlfriend died in her sleep, choking on vomit like Jimi Hendrix. Oh. <laughs> That's actually that how a lot of like uh, 60s and 70s uh, rock stars died was, oh, yeah. in, you know, Fucking... choking choking on their own vomit from drinking and drug use. Yeah, too, too much of they're that. stupid and dumb. Dude, that kind of suck. Dude, Dude, yeah. I mean, that's why about... I sleep on my side. <laughs> I don't use drugs. Because of Jane so I... from Breaking Bad, now you have to no, sleep I, on your side. I don't use drugs or alcohol. It's just, you know. Just in case. Somebody could inject you with heroin in your sleep, and if that happened, you would want to lay on your side. Man, the more I think <laughs> about it, Jesse and Jane literally just said, ha-ha, JK, unless to, like, doing heroin. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, can you know, we also actually, talk we about didn't... how it's entirely Walt's fault uh, that Jesse got walked into that ATM smashing situation, and Walt even oh, res oh, yeah. Walt even rescinds it, and Jesse just doesn't hear it. Like, well, he gives Walt that money, and he's like, "Why are we one thousand dollars short?" And Jesse explains that he's like, "You can't let people walk on you like that, Jesse. You gotta handle it, Jesse. Handle it, yeah. Jesse." And then he like calls him, and he's like, "You know, I said handle it. I was kind of, I was kind of out of my mind. But just don't worry about it." <laughs> yeah. And then maybe we shouldn't get that Jesse heat onto us. <laughs> Yeah, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, uh, yeah, he goes, you gotta take care of it, Jesse. And it was like, we gotta kill these motherfuckers. And and fucking Jesse tried to tell Walter, hey, uh, that's just, I think it was called breakage. It was like, that's just the cost breakage. of business yeah, sometimes. Of business. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah that, that's just what happens. You get robbed, you don't fucking do it because the streets will eat you alive. And Walter, who is like, you know, like a middle class oh, uh, white dude, you know, like your typical average, like suburbanite. Oh, 
Yeah, doesn't fucking get that. So he's like, you know, it's like he's the fucking drug car, uh, kingpin and he's just giving him fucking like orders to kill underling. I I really like um like that scene where Walt has to decide Jet oh, to man. give Jesse the money. Oh really? And he has to just decide whether to give him or Jesse more money. And he decides for himself. I just really think that's a cute little detail. Yeah, like well, when not, he was putting he, the money in the bag, he, he was like putting it to Jesse's part and he like looks at it for a second, like, do I put it in Jesse's bag? And then he throws it back in the vent. Yeah. Well, yeah. He, he did set out originally to get money for him and his family. So honestly, I don't see a problem with that. But um shit, what was I gonna say? Fuck. Yeah, it's hey, graphic uh, questions, right? I Hey, I, I I gotta get on out of here. Something came up. I do apologize. Yeah, gonna be here for wrap up questions, Mel. Come on. N no, no, no. What happened was my mom was ordering uh, us drinks, and she picked the wrong Sonic. And I gotta go the town down here instead of the one that my brother's on. I gotta go pick him up because they won't let her fucking cancel it. That's how the Sonic app is. It fucking sucks. I'm sorry. That's fine. That's fine. Have yeah. Fuck one. you, yeah. Sonic. Yeah. Fuck Sonic. <laughs> No, Sonic's hey, ever good. Since what the they fuck y'all talking the about? Bomb, you should, you should post the Yelp the link to that bomb. specific Sonic so we can uh, review Bomb. No, absolutely <laughs> not. Yes. yes. <laughs> all right. All right. I'll see y'all later. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Uh, all right. I, I guess. All right. Who is your guys' favorite character this season? Okay. Um, I can start. It's Jesse. Easily Jesse. I, uh, Jesse yeah. this entire season was so great he, he's just such a good boy I I was invested in Jesse the entire time and like what what what's gonna happen to Jesse man like Jesse just oh, you said Jane me. no I said Jesse Jesse oh. Jane Jane is my Breaking Bad waifu Jesse's like, my favorite early, character earlier you were like too. Jane is, Jesse my, favorite is my Breaking Bad waifu Le yeah <laughs> Jesse's my Breaking Bad waifu that's true yeah easily Jesse like not even a question what about you Demi I don't even know, dude. All the characters are so fucking good. Well, you gotta pick one. There's no butching out. Um, Marie. I picked oh. Marie last time too. <laughs> Why? She's cool. I like Why? Her. She's she literally, she's literally has me. Nothing in this season. Are you a doctor? Yeah. <laughs> Doctor Gloom. Show me your medical your degree. <laughs> Doctor Gloom at your service. I don't need a medical degree. Oh, you're that kind of doctor. I'm good enough at Dr. Mario to where I can confidently say <laughs> I'm a doctor, okay? Oh, you're dealing with some viruses? Don't worry. Wait until you see what what kind of pills I have and what color they are. Right. Alright, so yeah, um, I, I say uh, Jesse, Demi says Marie. Uh, what about you? Me, 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 pick me, pick me. Oh, I, gotta no. say, I gotta say, I gotta say, I think it's Jesse. Yeah. Walt, Walt is a very close. He was my pick for the first season, but this time it's got to be Jesse. I mean, just like so much, you know. In the season one, I didn't even like Jesse that much. Like in the season one yeah. review, I said, I don't understand why people like Jesse so much, but now I get it. Jesse's my boy. Yeah, yeah you know. Riley, he's like, I like Jesse I'm now, in just in the way. Uh, but yeah, what about you, Jason? Remember how I said in the season one video that like season one would be the only answer that wasn't Jesse? Oh, so I guess your answer's Jesse, huh? Listen, I he's just the best character in the show, period. And I uh, Riley, if you think you love him now, just just you wait. Just you wait to see to you see what fucking happens and what he goes through, man. It's so fucking good. I saw I'm like I saw an El Camino poster and I'm like, damn, he looks like fucked up, dog. Oh, I'm, El Camino! Oh my god, he's so based in El Camino as well. I'm gonna be. I'm into season three. I'm almost done with season three. Well, wait, you haven't finished season three? Yeah, no, he is like watching it? it for the first time too. Oh shit! Yeah. Oh. Well, we're gonna we're gonna do a podcast about every season, Ida. So maybe don't go crazy before we do the season three one. Don't finish the show. No, go fucking crazy. Fuck Riley. All right. 
Riley just like signed me up to be a part of this little Breaking Bad series on this he does podcast. That all the I didn't, time. I didn't consent to that. He's like, all right, Demi Gloom is going to be on every episode of this. I'm like, what? I didn't, I didn't what? agree to this. No. We have to record, Gloomy. We have to record, <laughs> Demi. We have to record. Demi, we have to record. <laughs> I mean, you that was you not it. Walter White. That was I like not it. I don't Walter like. I don't like the commitment. <laughs> I, I like doing it, but I don't like. You know, you ever like feel like you know, like you know what? I could really pick up in my room, and then your mom's like, "You need to clean your fucking room," and you're like, "You know what? Now that my mom's bitching at me to clean my room, I don't want to do it anymore." That's yeah, exactly. But I, how I, I didn't bitch right at you. I just was like, "Yeah, we're gonna have a good time. Come on, come on." Yeah. No, shut the fuck up, Riley. You do this all the time, Riley. Like, hey, you should you should check this out. I know, I know for a fact you would like. And like now that you told me to. And every time I resent you for that. Yeah, but you've done that to I've I've done that to you a bunch, and you know how mad it makes you, and then you do it to me anyway. Well, well, yeah, but fucking like, cause I know I wouldn't like it, and I know you would like these things. I know, I know the kind of person you are, Riley. You know why? Cause you live in my walls. Cause you're a coomer. This Damn, is he got me. <laughs> You got this me. Is, yeah. He's a, go- he's a gooper. Riley became Heisenberg. Shut yeah, this is, my, this is my Heisenberg moment. Uh, all right, we got to go around and get favorite episode. Um, Ida, hit us with it. Four days out. Four days out Can you is. not take like... all the answers that I'm going to do. No. Four days out, it's just so good. It has everything that I like about the show. It's got Walt doing some cool science shit. It's got Jesse being dumb and wholesome at the same time. It does not have Skylar White in it that much. Has fast montages with that skater boy attitude. That's yeah, really good. Yeah, it's it's very good. It's extremely good. Uh, what about you, Jason? Gee. Gee, I wonder, yeah. Like a wild fucking guess. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. Four days out. Uh, I, I've always said this before, but I like to describe the style, the unique style of Breaking Bad as frenetic realism and a skater boy vibe, and I feel like that is the most prominent in this episode. And that's that's it. That's that's all I'm going to say, because Ida just said everything else that I like about the episode. Oh, also, actually, I wanted to bring this up. We get little hints that uh Walter does not have a good relationship with his mom in that episode. Yeah, Walter and Skyler I... both hate Walter's mom. I just wanted to mention that. Hello? Well, Skyler <laughs> Hello? <Got it. laughs> hating somebody just makes me like them. You know? Hating somebody just makes you like them? No, Skylar hating somebody just makes me like them. I don't blame you. Honestly, want to hear my hot take? Actually, What's your no, hot I'm... take? No, 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 no. You know. Okay, okay. This is for Jason's ears only. All right, I'm everybody not spoil anything. <laughs> Season three, Skylar is fucking based. Okay, buddy. Mrs. Like... I fucked Ted. Oh. Okay, really? No, no, she's but, not. But fucking Ted is pretty based. No, Ted's the little bitch. He's unironically like well, one of my least favorite characters because he's such a Listen, little bitch. Like late season three, early season four, Skyler. She's fucking. Like, oh as yeah, she, yeah. As soon as she starts well, like getting course. involved with shit, you know what I mean? She's Just, fucking like don't badass. Spoil. All right, so my my favorite oh, yeah, episode I'll... is certain... the second she stops acting like Skyler. <laughs> yeah. My favorite episode is certain, certainly the penultimate episode, season two, episode twelve, Phoenix. It's, it's just so perfect. the The emotional like roller coaster you go down with Walt and like his relationship with Jesse and Jesse's relationship with Jane and Jane's descent into heroin madness and Jane's father fucking the, having his heart crushed because he his only daughter is dead. It's all so impactful and so powerful and phoenix is easily my favorite episode no question what about you jenny ah fuck i mean fuck. fuck i hate to be a copycat but four days out for sure 
Wow. I want to. I want to say. I want to say though, my favorite part of the season is like the, the little um, you know, the intros where they're like collecting debris from the fucking planes and shit. Because like, it looks like, because like before you know that a plane crash happens, it's like super ominous, and you're wondering if like, Walt's house is being like, raided, by the. The whole time I thought that little teddy bear was for his like newborn daughter. Mm-hmm. And like it was, the, they were gathering Heisenberg evidence. Can you imagine he yeah, picks exactly. up the scraps of the teddy bear and actually gives it to like Holly as a I initially, I've seen spoilers, but the spoilers are all spaced out. So I don't know what happens in between them. I unironically for a second thought it was going to be like, I, I don't know if any who in the call has and hasn't seen it, but the fucking arrow bit. Where, oh, no. where Oliver Queen goes to court for being the hood and then he gets himself out of it. I thought Walter was going to go to court for being Heisenberg and get himself out of it somehow at the beginning of season three. Fuck Arrow. Fuck CW. I mean, understandable to some capacity. They should do a spinoff show about Holly. Holly. What would there be? They should, they should call it Buddy Holly. <laughs> Wait, okay, is, is, is unironically Holly in Minecraft, yes. go to Greenland, Demi. You could you could do like future <laughs> like the, the fallout of Heisenberg, the, the the sins of the father get visited upon the daughter. It would be more. It will make more sense for it to be focused on Walter Jr. because he's like yeah, but Walter you know, Jr. is on crutches. He can't do cool acts. An actual teams, human so. being. He's like an actual human being. No, Walter, Wh- Walter White's going to be like, in his, in, Walter White's, or not Walter White, well, I guess he is Walter White, but Walter Jr. is going to be like in his mid-30s in a wheelchair, and <laughs> Holly's going to be like 20, and she's going to fight no, that Ar- the drug dealers. Prepare for the role of Walter Jr. RJ might spend all 16 years of his life <laughs> in touch for the role. <laughs> it's true. It's true. They should make Holly White like pick up her father's legacy or something. Holy oh, oh, shit, do you guys, did you guys know? Eisenberg. Did you guys know that fucking uh, Aaron Paul and Brian Cranston like actually learned how to make meth for the show? That's epic. like Vince Gilligan like straight up like got a guy to teach them. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> what if we found out Breaking Bad was happening in real life? Like Brian Cranston and Aaron Paul were secretly running a drug ring. <laughs> well, I mean, well, I mean the the idea for Breaking Bad was inspired off of like a news article of a guy selling like me- crystal meth from like an ice cream truck. Really, Jesse? We yeah. have to give ice cream to the children, Jesse. Vince Gilligan and Peter Gould were like originally they like just finished being co-writers for the X Files, and they needed an idea. Breaking Bad's very good, and then yeah, more like fixing good. Am I right? Fixing good, yeah. Um, <laughs> that's great. Um, all right. Rate the season out of ten. Demi gloom. I'm I'm gonna rate it. I said out. demi gloom, bitch. You're next. Come on. Nine out of ten. Okay, nine out of ten from Jason being off the rails. You know what? But Demi's not saying shit. So Ida, go ten. Ahead. Ten. Oh, okay. Goddamn. I'm gonna. Motherfuckers just interrupting me. It's a nine. <laughs> Sounds like a skill issue. Yeah, it's a ten for me. This is like a perfect season of TV. It was fucking great from moment one he says as he hasn't seen seasons three four and five well i mean maybe i'll give them tens too but like this this was perfect i mean season three I, i'm just gonna say season three is definitely season three. so far at least i don't know i actually didn't really like season three that much compared to the rest of them it's probably my least favorite season let's not really? talk too much about season three because i'm gonna start watching it the moment we're done the moment the bots disconnect and twitch ends i'm hanging up the call and i'm starting season three it's not a sec i, I will not spend another second in the call once this podcast is over it- it's right so breaking I- bad i like the moment in season three where walt um dies <laughs> just like walt some like fake on- spoiler <laughs> or walt and mike have gay passionate sex that could be wait why does it have to be passionate <laughs> they have well, I mean, they have indifferent sex. <laughs> well, sex without passion is a sin. Mm-hmm. So do is being like. Great. Do you guys like having casual sex, or do you guys like having competitive sex? <laughs> Ranked sex. <You> mean porn. <laughs> what is? It's literally sex? porn. Yeah, porn is ranked <laughs> sex. <laughs> yeah, porn stars are like ranked. <laughs> They're ranked I... players. 
I think that the like post sex cuddle is better than the sex. Honestly, that sounds like it probably true. true. I agree. (laughs) Yeah. It is it is true, trust me. Sex is kind of gross. Yeah. But but, all right, do we have anything else you want to say before we wrap things up? Can I say the N word? No. Yes. Yes. Twitch, you can't say that. Does does Ida say the N-word? No, not actually. Not that, that was a joke. I don't... Damn, I thought, I thought you were funny for a second. <laughs> Can I say the N-word, Riley? No, 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 no. Um, all right, folks. Can I say the F? <clears throat> no. <laughs> Can I say the Z-word? What is the Z-word? It's the one that's, like, offensive against Asian people. What are you talking what? about? <laughs> the Z-word. You're gonna have to talk to me up to this about after they got, stream. They got, talk to me this they about. Got their heads ran over during World War II. What? Oh shit! I know what you mean. Oh, no, don't, don't say that, no, please. Wait. wait, 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 wait! You're gonna have to explain this to me after after. Uh, what about the K one? The, the, no. The Jewish one. Hold on, yeah. I'm, gonna ex- I'm gonna explain this to Ida in DMs. Don't say it, Ida. Just react. Explain it to, it to me too. I want to know. Wait, can, you, guys can don't I... know you guys don't know your offensive slurs. I know. I can I say the one for trans people? No. Yes. I'm allowed it's... to say that word. It's no, but it's banned on Twitch, regardless of identity. You're can banned on simp? Twitch, motherfucker. Can I say simp and virgin? No, you can't. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, you can't. You can't but... Riley, you won't get banned just for saying the word simp. Yeah, also, yeah, I, I just told you know what it was. Oh, Tell me what it uh, is. Uh, Z I. No, 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 shut up. Shut up. Shut up. No. Shut up. I'm, 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 I'm sending it to them. <laughs> okay. Watch live on Twitch as we teach you know the youth up, guys, it's semi blue. offensive slurs. It's semi blue, oh, but I'm here to say slur. Oh, zipperhead? No! <laughs> That's awful. Fuck! <laughs> you can't Maybe say that. Is. And uh, another Wait, bot that... I'm gonna have to delete. <laughs> Wait, is this is this a genuine like slur that's actually used? Yeah. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah. yeah. Because the tire tracks on their head <laughs> when they got ran over. Yeah. Shut up. That's awful. Like I can't even laugh at that. Demi, shut your fucking <laughs> mouth. I can wait, why don't you just put like, you know, a thing in there with like a little beep in the VOD? You can't change the we VOD. Not in a VOD. The VOD. You can download the VOD and then re-upload it, but yeah, not no, no, no. The, like, I'm just, I'm just gonna, VOD. I'm just gonna import it to YouTube and then I'm gonna delete it. I've done that for a couple of these podcasts. Um, Dude, what do you mean? Just start, gonna... just start it's... streaming on YouTube. Fuck Twitch. Hold on, I can I'm download. On, ironically, I can download the VOD on YouTube and it, and then I'll ed- edit. I'll upload an. No, edit. you're not an editor. You're not the editor. Well, I, I'll, yeah, I'll give. Well, I mean, Riley doesn't. No, I don't even edit this. This is Riley. This is unedited content. Yeah, we're yeah, actually just going to watch the, the, the archive. Oh, the get movie. fucked, Demi. Wow, that would have been so funny right now. It would not be funny because it never is funny when you bring in Pancake to play the most stupidest shit. Who is Pancake? Pancake's the music, music bot. bot. Well, how do I use it? Uh, you don't. You don't. <laughs> it's not funny. All right, all right. It's almost as unfunny as comedy anime. All right, it's pl- it's plugs time. The show is over. Jason, where can they find you? It's plug in time. <laughs> it's plug in time. It's plug in time. You can find me at uh uh imdb.com slash Jason David Frank. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Guys, out. I've been lying to you this whole time. I've been the White Power Ranger in disguise this entire the, time. The White Power Ranger. <laughs> White, yep, that's me. Oh, that's gonna be great, Cliff. I love I love white power. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Yeah. That's, yep. What did I say? Something wrong? I'm the ranger of You're white the, power. I'm the ranger of white power. Yeah. Okay. Um, Debbie, where can they find you? Um, listen, listen, listen to Outer Space by Demi Gloom. That's D E M I G L O O M. It's such a good song. Um, no. and I, it's actually fucking shit. Ida, do you have anything to plug? 
Uh, GitHub slash Ida dash O one. Who the fuck uh, plugs their GitHub? <laughs> Ida, I she's a computer, computer scientist. scientist. <laughs> computer scientist plug their GitHub. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can find all of my cool AI shit if you're into that. Hell yeah, that's. Sick. You make something that'll instantly give me someone's banking info. Uh, you guys can follow me on Photo Bucket at uh, Deming Gloom. Hey, follow my iFunny. <laughs> follow my iFunny. You get to see all the racist comments I make. <laughs> oh no. It's it's pretty great. You can't be on iFunny without being racist. That's actually a rule. Alright, see you next time, folks. I'm not racist. So you're not an iFunny user. Yeah, <laughs> iFunny users have to be racist. Dude, iFunny literally has no terms of service, bro. Okay, can we talk about what's that case um, where you were talking about? Hold on, hold on. We're we're not done yet. Hold on, we're still live it on rhymes Twitch. With, it rhymes with bicycle. All right, <laughs> folks. <laughs> Thank you for I watching. Goodbye.